What's up, everybody? I'm Frank Furter, that is Magically Average, and we are Bakken Company. Uh, this is Baka Bites. We are going to be talking today about shows that deserve a remake slash a continuation. So recently, there have been a handful of shows that have either gotten a second season or a remake completely that, you know, we had either been asking for, you know, as a fan base for a long time or just, hey, we haven't done this IP in a while. Let's revive it and kind of give it the actual telling of like what was in the manga. And the two that I'm referring to are Trigun, Stampede, and uh, The Devil is a Part-Timer, Season 2. Today mm. I want to talk about a little bit about those shows kind of separately, but also shows that we believe should get another chance. Whether it be through a continuation or be through uh, a remake. And to kind of start it off, have you? I know you watched part of The Devil is a Part-Timer. Did you, Have you watched any of the new Trigun or any of the old Trigun? No, Trigun was the one series I did. I never got into. Okay, because I watched the old Trigun some point last year, and you know what? Because I didn't grow up with it, I thought it was fine. It didn't age like the greatest in terms of hopping into an old show brand new. From that perspective, it was like a solid seven and a half out of ten. It wasn't like anything mind blowing. It was a good comedy action series um but this remake done by studio orange it's it was incredible it was awesome the the different art style of being 3d and everything else i thought was done masterfully i am notoriously i hate cgi anime but it was gorgeous i thought it was great the story it told was different from the original very similar for some points but very different and I thought that the story overall kind of felt fresh and new and better. And it, it felt better in a modern standing rather than the older story did. But mm -hmm. again, this is just my opinion. And I, I think that that is an example of a show that did really well with its comeback. However, on the other side of the spectrum, we have The Devil is a Part-Timer, part, you know, season two, in which both of us watched maybe one episode of. And we were like, mm-mm. I watched a couple. I, I gave it a fair shot, but um, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely... I I watched I watched one episode. And I was like, nope, this ain't it, chief. Like this is this is missing the mark very hard, and it was something that the fan base had been asking for years. We we're like, hey, when are we gonna get another season? It's almost like no game, no life. Like that fan base has been chomping at the bit for more for the series and just nothing. But it it leads to the question of like you know, what show do would you like to see a remake or a continuation of that, you know, may have abruptly ended because the manga was still going and it never got a second season, or it just decided, hey, since the manga is not over, let's just kind of curtail it and finish it here. Like, to you, in your opinion, what, what would you like to see in general? Uh... That one's so hard for me because there's not like there's not a ton that come to mind that I watched when I was younger or even, you know, five, six years, seven years ago where I'm like, I want more. The obvious one is Soul Eater, which I know you had mentioned, and that's yeah. probably at most people, the top of most people's list, because we all know that there's a lot of source material for it and they didn't really wrap it up that well. It, it finished on a very awkward note. It's kind of depressing given that the rest of the show was awesome um yeah so I, that's probably that's probably like my top one but i, I don't actually, know like there's not go ahead i was gonna say i actually never watched soul leader i am currently reading oh. it i know i am currently reading it and i think if i'm not mistaken they I, i'm catching up with the perfect edition so i'm not reading it online or anything like that but um they did they end it after the Arachne's castle? Is that where they ended the show? Uh, I don't no. know. Okay, then never mind. Because then that's where I'm at in the source material. They just finished that kind of arc. So I was wondering if that's where they ended it originally. Because I could see that being a really good ending point for an anime. Because you're about like halfway, a little bit more than halfway through the source material and just end it kind of there. So I, I wasn't sure where they quite ended it. Yeah, they end it with the I can't remember the name. Is it a Kieran or something like that? The Kishin. Oh yeah, yeah the Kishin. They end it with the battle with the Kishin. Spoilers. Okay. 
for anyone who hasn't watched it or read it. I but yeah. <laughs> um, in terms of of like a remake though, that one's also challenging because it would. It, I feel like it would do a disservice to the original to like have it just spiced up with new animation because mm -hmm. that's sort of part of the nostalgia is that like the one that comes to mind for me is one of my all-time favorites which is cowboy bebop and i'm like no no i don't want it to ever be remade i know they did a live action like we'll call it rendition because it wasn't a one for one yeah um of cowboy bebop and the fan base their heads exploded um not from joy but from pure rage and frustration um I think and, I'm like the one fan that actually kind of enjoyed it. But, I, but that's I never just watched me. it. I never watched it. I, I'm not a big live action person to begin with. Um, so it never really interested me. But yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty of those types of anime where I'm just like, don't ever touch it. Like, it's perfect the way it is. It's fine where it ended. Like, yep. even shit like Death Note. Like, Death Note, I, I hate. The first half <laughs> was one of the best... The first half was one of the best anime I'd ever watched, and the second half was some of the most garbage bullshit that I could stomach. And yeah, I was just like, but I'm like, hey, you know what? It's done. Don't don't try to backroll it and and patch some of the holes that you developed throughout by, you know, having like, oh, this is an extension on the story, the aftermath, whatever you want to call it. Like, don't do that stuff because that's where that's where a lot of anime gets in trouble. I feel like is they hear the the cries and pleas of the fan base and they're like we want more this this doesn't make sense fix it and they're like fine shut up and then they're like <laughs> yeah get it more yay and then it turns out to be total ass and then they're like you suck fuck you you ruined my childhood so it's 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 never a win-win situation it's always most of the time lose lose so it's it's such a hard question because I, I I'm looking at an article right now and it's kind of making me very nervous. But like another one of my all time favorites is Fooly Cooly, mm -hmm. and back in what 2016, 2017, I think so something like that. They made Fooly Cooly <laughs> progressive and alternative, which I liked both. I, I honestly didn't mind them. It was it, like interesting standalone stories. They kept the formula of being like six episodes that are all pure chaos. Nothing ever really makes sense. You know, it, it, it stuck with that sort of idea from the very beginning. And I like how, you know, they just made they made it their own two seasons. It wasn't an extension. It wasn't a continuation. It was just sort of like their own things. And I'm like, cool, fine. Experiment with it. You know, to my knowledge, there wasn't any source material that it was going off of. Um, the only one that I know of is the Fooly Cooly, like Omnibus for mm. the original season yeah but there could be more I'm, I'm sure i'll get corrected by someone out there um but now they're coming back with two more seasons called fully cooly grunge and fully cooly shoegaze and the one trailer was cg and i'm like well if they do it right it could be kind of cool different style different aesthetic maybe they're going for like um uh what is that love war and robots no oh, What's that? Lo uh death war death something and death robots love. Death, death love, love and, and robots. robots yeah on netflix yeah we're like they're all kind of different each episode is a different like standalone yeah. story but they're all different art styles like if they make fully coolly in different art styles and try something different i'm like sure but then the part of me that has loved the first seasons from the moment i started watching it or stumbled upon it an adult swim or on toonami i'm like ah, do i really want more because it's so the original is just so perfect in yeah. my mind. Like I, I feel like it's selling it. But again, I, I have to compartmentalize it and be like, nope, these are these are completely different stories. So it's it's always a hard thing for like production companies and studios and even like the mangakas themselves to be like, okay, do we want to try to attempt this? Do we do we have enough in us to really make another season are we going to even please the fans with this can we make it as perfect as you know how people view the original before like it's just it's always so challenging i always just find it better to like start something fresh start something new do an original idea like yeah some of them are you know you're gonna hit some and you're gonna miss some right like it's just the way it is but it's it's always very murky waters when you dive back into the 
uh, let's try to revive this one. I will say just, that just for a bit. It has worked, and there are other shows that are coming out that are being revived. Oh, yeah. I mean, one that's coming out later this year, I believe, is uh, like Hori Mia, the side stories. Like, it's just the side stories that they never talked about inside like the main season. But that's because they literally just skipped over source material. <laughs> yeah, they they skipped over like, a lot. They, they, but yeah, I'm I'm talking about like situation, like a good example, and I'm sure one that you'll want to talk about the most because I haven't watched it yet. Um, is Iran High School Host Club. Where it's like there's a, a plethora <laughs> of source material that they just haven't hit, and it's there, but they, there's just no season for it, right? Yeah, that's so there, that's there are the situations one... like there are situations like that. There there are plenty of ones the anime out there that have source material readily available that it's just that, that for one reason or another they're just not moving forward with it. Yeah, Oran High School Host Club is definitely at the top of my list, but um, I, that's one of those shows that I'm really scared about if they were to continue it or give it a revive, because going back and watching it, it it's aged wonderfully in the... Okay, sorry, let me backtrack already on this. If it were made today, the show would not be politically correct with some of the things that they do. They mm. would have to, I feel like, work around that or change up a few things to where the original audience would be like, what the fuck, this is bullshit. So I think while I would love to see it, I think that they would have to fundamentally change a few things about some of the characters or just the show in general. And it would, you know, in order to catch a broader audience than, you know, the people who grew up with it and loved it. There, I mean, because it's it's got some faults to it, uh, I, to be completely honest. But it's still to me a great show. I would love to see more of it. But at the same time, that one would be super tri tri like tricky to do. The one mm -hmm. that I want to see the most of getting a remake, just completely from start from back from scratch, start at the beginning and tell the full tale because they never did. Is Claymore. Claymore, mm. they got through maybe a third of the source material, and they stopped it right when it started to get really fucking good. But I also think, like, I've read the whole thing, and I'm like, hmm, it gets really fucking creepy, like, not creepy, but crazy and weird at the very end because of all the different characters that they introduce and because they're all very similar looking that you're just like, okay, wait, this person belonged here, this person was this, this person was that, this... That I think that it would get some people confused, like Attack on Titan, and then the ending is just kind of like a whole cluster in itself. But like, I still want to see that. Like, to me, Claymore is at the top of the list of like this. This needs to be revived. This needs to have the Trigun experience. Or I mean, a show that I know you nor I actually I don't know if you have watched it. I know for sure I haven't. I know your wife has. But a show that actually did a remake really well that uh, apparently a lot of people really enjoyed was Fruits, Fruits Basket. The 2001 yeah. one was apparently not very good, but this remake, or it was good, but not really. And then this remake was very, very good. And it's just one of those things yeah. that's like, I, I want that to happen for Claymore. I really want that to happen for Claymore because Claymore is such a, like, it is such a good fucking series that is not talked about enough. And I don't know, I, to be fair, I haven't really done too, too much research to see if the author is actually a good person, moral person, etc. But the source material is so freaking awesome and so great that I'm just like, just give it to me. Just, just give it to the fans and for the new people who are into anime that want that grittiness, kind of like Chainsaw Man, where it's like no holds barred, like nobody is safe to you know the people who just want a good action show with some gore in it like it's there it's there it's got a fantastic world it's got a fantastic story just give it to us that would be the one that i really want the biggest remake for the one that i want to redo for just a fucking mulligan for one of the seasons fucking give me promise neverland season two just do it right oh give me yeah. the promise neverland season two i want to see goldie goldie farms i want to see it i want to see it so bad what the fuck? Why would you do this to us? Promise Neverland. I just, I want, ugh. That show still breaks there's me. There's a lot of, there's a lot of redos that we want out there. Yeah. 
those, some of them are just single episodes some of them are full seasons but those two are the like the top two at my list but you had mentioned like a show that you just don't want to be touched and it's just one of those things that's like ooh, i'm scared that this might happen another one that i would throw into that category that like of the cowboy beatbox of like this is just perfect just leave it as it is is samurai mm -hmm. champloo i would leave that yeah as untouched as possible because that show was great it was fantastic. Yeah. It was a it was a blast through and through, and it had a definite ending. And I was just like, you know what? I'm good. I got all that I wanted out of this world. This was great, and these characters. This was great. So to me, those those shows are um, things that I just would really like to see. I'm very surprised though. What are your thoughts on you know getting continuation for like a Dead Man Wonderland? Uh, yeah. There, I mean, there's a lot like that, right? There's, there's a lot where it, it ends and it just sort of, I, I've just sort of come to terms with it at this point, right? <laughs> well, because for me, a devil as a part timer was sort of like that, where it, it just had one season, and I was like, I'm like, okay, it, I, I guess I'm fine with just one season. Like it is what it is. Yeah. Like even like even recent anime that I've watched that have just been one single season, I've been content with it just being a single season. Like, um the aquatope on white sand but mm -hmm. that's a beautiful story like I, I i think that it should just remain isolated it just should remain those 24 25 episodes or whatever it is like it's perfect right but it, there's this weird fear that i have given how many new anime come out each and every season and by season we mean literal seasons um so like for spring season we've got a, a absolute fuck ton that have come out and I, it's just it, there's looks to be no stop for that my fear is that at, at some point we're gonna run out of viable ideas because there are plenty of manga <laughs> out there that probably should never be made into an anime and for, some for that one reason <laughs> and some that one have reason already or gotten an anime that shouldn't have been it's, made yes yeah, and some that you just look at and you go, dear God, why does anyone want to watch My Life is <laughs> Inukai-san's Dog? Um, but then there's plenty out there that I'm like, I'm just, I'm begging. I'm like, please, someone pick this up. Like, I'd, I'd love to see it. So my fear is that if if you, we ever reach a point in, in the season where it looks like, you know, oh, we're dying down on some of like the AAA hits. Like this, I mean, I'm looking at the list right now. You've got the new demon slayer you got oshinoko which has exploded and blown everyone out of the water who hasn't read it M me like myself um hell's paradise mashal dr stone you've got konosuba um you have my love story with yamada kun which is a great one for those of you who like slice of life and it's just really cute yeah i'm pretty. very surprised vinland by that saga one. yeah vinland saga like there's a ton of like really big name anime not to mention all the new anime that's coming out like a galaxy next door kubo dead mount death play so like that and that's just spring yep i'm wondering at what point are we gonna is it gonna slow down are we gonna have to like dial back on like either for production or whatever like you just we can't put out this many triple a anime each season and they go all right well then in that case let's reboot something I honestly, like we've already we've already set this we've already set the stage for it. We just we either pick up where it left off or we pull a uh, uh, Urasei Yatsura and just do a remake. Like yeah. I'm wondering when that's gonna become like a a trend. It's it's not we're not even close to there yet. This is, this won't happen in my mind. Is this shouldn't happen for a long time? Because I've got a watch a read list a mile and a half long that all have no anime yet i'm reading through <laughs> i'm reading through steel ball run for jojo's praying that that's going to come out in my hokkaido fucking lifetime gals. Uh, hokkaido well hokkaido gals is going to come out hokkaido gals has an anime oh it does yeah it's going to be an anime yeah i'm gonna surprise you but, um, i actually started it i got about it's really good i think i'm 14 chapters in it's it's pretty pretty darn good it's it's very it's very adorable um, but then, yeah, I've got other ones like uh, Even If You Slit My Mouth, which is a really cool one if you like the like ghost stories. St not the anime ghost stories, but like um, 
<laughs> What's that one that they've made a couple of times? That's all about the different like folklore, like ghost oh, tales. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I have it on my watch list. I'm waiting for the the yeah, the yeah. dub to be. It's in that Natsume uh, Natsume Yujin Cho, which I believe uh, is the something book of friends. Yeah, it, yeah, whatever it might be. Even if you slip my mouth, is about kind of like what happens when people stop telling the stories of these like folk tales and these ghosts and. It's really cool. Love it. Um, what are some other ones? Uh, a, a great one that I talked about forever ago that I don't think is on anyone's radar is uh, Sachi's Monstrous Appetite. That's yeah. a good one. That I, um, I thoroughly wonderful. enjoyed that as well. That would be a good one season, one and done. Yes, exactly. It's got only six volumes, and that's it. That's the entirety of the of the series. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty. And, and I'm only talking about things that I've read that you know are in English. I'm not even talking about the plethora of, of material that's out there in Japan, you know, that hasn't made its way across the, you know, the ocean to us. So the, we've got a long way to go, but it, with a handful of ones like Trigon, um, Yatsura, like you're starting to see maybe, maybe studios will start digging into that old archive and, and pulling things out. Oh, now the, the question is going to be is Netflix, what are you doing? Get off your ass. You can, you can fund some of this shit. No, they're too busy doing live action. They uh, have to do the 35th live action of Death Note. No, they're doing the 35th fucking season of The Circle or whatever bullshit dating show they have. Oh, um, yeah. We, we don't talk about the live, the, the real people stuff. We're only talking about the anime that real people play in. Yeah, which, by the way, a show that I completely forgot is getting a new season slash continuation that is very topical to this, Blue Exorcist. I forgot that that is, that is I... in slated for a new season slash reboot i forgot about that too yeah that's very yeah wow this yeah fits really like i'm looking at a, what we're talking about I'm, huh. ta- I'm looking at a tbd list on livechart.me and i'm like you're talking about like all these heavy hitters like at what point does it stop i'm gonna be honest we've got about two plus years of eating fucking good like there are so oh. many shows that are just like oh oh boy we're we're, we're eating we're eating good for a while that I don't no, think that I, they'll dip into it for a while, but it's just like it is one of those things that I do want some of these studios to be like, you know what, this actually does need a continuation or this does need a reboot. Because, and I, I do have a theory here, and I want you to stick with me. Oh boy. So I just finished uh, watching slash finishing slash rewatching. I got most of the way through season two when I first was airing and finally finished it. Finished watching Fire Force today. Season two. Okay. This is a bit of spoilers here, so if, if you're not familiar with Fire Force in the universe, just skip a forward, you know, 30 seconds. I think that once they are done animating Fire Force, I think they go into Soul Eater. Because it takes place in the same universe? Because it it's takes place, it is technically a prequel to Soul Eater, and I don't know how they connect because I haven't read either. Well, I haven't fully read either. But I think that once the one Fire Force is done, because I think they're through 20-ish volumes, just like maybe, I think I said that they stop mid-volume 20, Mm -hmm. and there's 32, 34 volumes out there. I think another season or two or season and a half, they're done with Fire Force, and then they announce... We're going on to Soul Eater. We're remaking this. We're going to tell the full tale. I think that that would be fucking great. Yeah. I really want to will that into existence. Will that happen? Probably not. But boy, howdy. Fucking that'd be wildly great. And I apologize. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to circle back and, and mm-hmm. talk about something that uh, a series that definitely went above and beyond in, in its continuation, which is Bleach. I don't even. Yeah. I don't even want to. Don't really we didn't even I, talk about that. Holy shit! It. Yeah, it's my favorite of the big three. Yeah, Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War. Because I'm looking at Summer and I'm like, oh yeah, they're, they're it's coming out with Summer. Um, that one was perfect. But again, it, that's a situation in which they have the source material, right? And yeah. And they can and they they can continue it along. There's not this like shakiness and uneasiness of like, well, is it gonna is it gonna land it? Is it gonna stick the landing, or are they gonna just tumble and trip over themselves and then fart and then walk away? Shame, shamefully <laughs> in the corner like it because it, it happens and then on the flip side a series that pisses me off even to mention it that is getting a reboot is 
the from thou who shall not be named. Oh, uh, I didn't want to bring like, it up. That's, I wasn't even going to bring it up. That's but, a situation, yeah. right? But it's a situation in which you're like, you look at it, and you're just like, but why? There are so many. There's so much out there. There is so much IP available for these studios to make, and it's done by Linden Films. Which Linden Films of you know recent has done Tokyo Avengers, Call of the Night, uh, your shitty love and lies or no, not shitty. That's Val. <laughs> My wife likes love and lies. <laughs> What's that? You're no oh, liar, liar, whatever that dumbass one you watched. Uh, oh wait, wait, yeah, no, you know I don't what know. I'm talking about. No, I don't actually. Never mind. The one where like it's like the the one's an alien and one's a. Oh, that one. The three little the lies we all tell girl. or whatever. Yeah, whatever lies. I watched like. Shit part of episode one i was like oh no <laughs> i thought it was that for a second anyway yeah i mean like there's situations like that where you look at it and you're like why 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 it, it doesn't make sense like there's again you so much out there please for for the love of god pick anything but that and yeah. it's just it's yeah it, you just kind of look at it confused so the the world of reboots continuation it's it, it it's such a strange strange world to begin with because i mean you've got shit like demon slayer which they're just you know they churn that shit out pretty quickly but surprisingly quickly right anime before you'd have to take you know a year or two in between unless it was a continuing series like one piece or um like naruto or dragon ball z and stuff like that which came out weekly routinely i think but yeah. now it's like cool second season comes out in like a year sweet that's awesome you don't have to wait so it's yeah yeah no i get it it's an interesting time it's it's nice that we are waiting less and less for the shows we like more and more but i do think that there are some of those you know gems that we talk about that are just like ooh, when is this is this ever gonna get a season two like a show that i'm absolutely shocked is getting a season two which i'm personally excited about because it was one of those girlfriend, girlfriend? no not girlfriend girlfriend um uh, masamune kun's re no revenge like it's a it if i'm being completely honest with myself and you the viewer it is a terrible terrible show it is really fucking dumb on the other hand i fucking love it because it is just trash tv that i just can turn my brain off and just go ha 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 and that's it like it is a show that i Dang. like when i first got back into anime that was one of the like first 30 shows i consumed when getting back into anime so it's got one of those stupid places in my heart where i was like yeah i know this is trash but i still enjoy this piece of trash it's my piece of trash so like it's one of those things that it's like this did not deserve a season two but we're getting one 10 years later so i don't know it's it's weird there's no real rhyme or reason as to why they're getting reboots or re you know another season but some of them are good some of them are duds and i do really really wish we get something for claymore please i just want it yeah i i think i'll wrap up my thoughts by saying i am i am at peace with everything that i've watched i am not chomping at the bit for any sort of continuation or remake on any series, I am very happy with everything I've watched so far. And I know that's going to come and bite me in the butt because I'm going to watch something and be like, fuck, this will never get redone ever again. I'm going to no make it. I'm going to make you eat your words right now. I am chomping at the bit for a season two of Bochi the Rock. I am absolutely chomping at the bit there because no, I see because I've cause continued and I've you're... read it. I've continued and I've read it and holy shit, does it just get better? It gets so different. much better. It is you're so glutton. great. You're gluttonous. You're a glutton. You yeah, just yeah. Want, you want to eat and eat and yeah, eat. Yeah, feed me. I, I have tact. I have, I have the ability to just control myself. And I can watch something and go, that was great. And then I move on to something else and I watch that thing and I'm like, that was great. And then I move on to say, see, it's just, it's a flow. It's a nice flow. You get too stuck on one thing and it infects your tiny little brain. The little tiny itty bitty. The, one bit of the two brain remains. cells in there. One of the two brain and it cells. Just, it, 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 it controls it. That's all, that's all your tiny insignificant little pea brain can think about for like months on end. Yep. So yes, 
you are then driven to just want more of it. Mm-hmm. 100%. You gotta, you gotta just, you gotta let it go. You gotta wash it out and then come in with the new. Push it aside, watch Oshino Ko. And then when that's done, you push that aside and you watch Enter in Summer 2023. <laughs> that's going Jujutsu to be Kaisen Season 2. <laughs> I was going to, I was, no, Zom 100, because that's uh, a new one. Oh, Zom 100. I can't wait yeah. for Zom 100. And then when that one's done, you wash it out with can go to fall <laughs> free rin. you get free yeah rin. free rin. sure where's um oh undead unluck is coming out in fall yeah, i can't wait for that yeah. one that one's gonna be good the one undead that i'm luck looks good too okay side note before where's, we wrap... where is no hang on side note first before i get sidetracked where is uh witch hat it's still undecided it, if you go under tbd it's under tbd it doesn't have a season like when it's coming out yet they haven't announced that that big dick i know i assume that's what tbd stands for that big dick yeah no yeah just it's i because i assume it's one person that's decided like the big you you will become anime now and they're just like ah oh, that's tbd again going on his merry way no the side note i was gonna say the you one tbd the show that i'm actually anyway. very scared about is something that i'm really hyped about but i'm very scared and that's kaiju number eight everything oh. that is cut like all the stills for the character oh. animations that have come out have looked awful look downright hope, just atrocious i hope they pull a sonic movie and then they go ha 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 that, was a, funny joke. You. <laughs> that was a funny joke uh here's the real stuff yeah because yeah, yeah, like the really source rough. material is really fucking good even though it does take a dip after what would be probably season one it takes a major hey. major lull it does but right oh. now with the with what's happening right now in the source material it's fucking like it's we skyrocketing right now like we are way up there right now it is so fucking good but i am so fucking scared for that show but that is we what a shoko tensei next season too i know dude i know i'm looking oh. through this and i'm like Fuck. we're eating good we're eating but good. we're eating responsibly and no. we're eating enough to fill our stomachs uh-uh. and give us a break and then we move on I don't know what you're talking about. Speaking of moving on, thank you all for joining us this week. Tell us what you are looking forward to or wanting for a second season or a reboot or a third season. I don't know, just a continuation in general. Let us know what you want, and we'll tell you if we want it or not as well. So, I don't <laughs> and know. we'll tell you why you're Dude, wrong. I don't know why the past few weeks, every time this outro comes up, uh, just, my brain just takes a massive shit. It's just like, here's just a dookie right here. Until next time, everybody, Spark Triumph. We'll see you then.